I have a, I will say serious problem, sir. You will say what? Uh, I have a serious problem. So don't we all? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, sometimes uh, I do the sins. I do the sins. And then I feel sorry and regret and then repent against Allah. Uh, but a couple days, I do the sin again. Feel regret, feel sorry and repent Allah over and over again. Um, uh, I feel maybe so many years doing like that. I feel desperate. Maybe Allah will accept my tawbah or not. I, I do not know. And then, uh, recording, uh, according to your speech uh, in the early speech, that when the story of a sahaba that, that uh, when uh, he practiced in salah and then uh, feel the uh, the beauty of the salah, beauty of the prayer, the beauty of of uh, recite the Quran. I feel that I do not feel th that deliciousness or uh, goodness in in prayer. So many years, maybe Sheikh. I will try to hard. I feel I try hard to to feel again that 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 connection. But I uh, the question is. Is that okay? Uh, I, it's not okay maybe I have to do sin and repent again. But maybe the question is, what is the ultimate uh, uh, strategy or what should I do to cut off this, this cycle of sins, repent, sins, repent, sins, repent, and so on and so on. So I can gain my uh, happiness with, with Quran, with Salah, and so on and so on. Okay, first, first of all, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Kullu bani adam khatta wa khayru al-khattaeen al-tawwaboon. Every son of Adam is sinful. But the best of those sinful are those who repent. Good news is, you repent, Allah forgive you. Bad news is that the more you sin, the more less remorse you have. I know many da'is, students of knowledge, they were this high in da'wah. They have tapes, they have books, they were giving khutbah and lectures like me. But little by little, shaitan dragged their feet. So in the beginning, you make sins. You feel very remorseful, you cry, you're ashamed. And you ask Allah for forgiveness. For one, two, three, four weeks, you're good doing fine. Then you do the sin again. And you feel remorseful but less. And you're ashamed but less. After two, three weeks, you do it again. And the remorse is less and less. Until you reach a level where you do the sin, you enjoy it. You feel that you want to finish Isha prayer, to go and watch two, three hours of haram content, which as a lot of the Muslims say. So many people, I ask them, do you have this? No, no, no. Do you have that? No, 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 no. Alhamdulillah, I'm a living a Muslim life. Do you have Netflix? I said, yes. MashaAllah. Why? This is sinful. So the bad news is that shaitan drags your feet until you feel no remorse and you enjoy, there is more. After some time, you don't feel that you're ashamed of people knowing. So you go and say, Akhi, yesterday I saw this movie, and it was a good movie, very nice, uh, ha, ha, ha. And you share sins with others. You don't feel ashamed. Now, before you were remorseful, you're crying. Now, you're sharing it. Take this DVD. It's pirated, it's okay, it's from China and watch it so you're sharing it after a while you become a da'i you become asking people come and you propagate haram and you become one of the soldiers of shaitan this is a different topic altogether it needs a, a lecture by itself how to counter it number one by always remembering allah dhikr quran Number two, by associating yourself with Muslims. 
If I'm alone, shaitan can easily play with my head. If I have brothers around me, I'm in good hands. Every time I want to do something, I said, brother, this is haram. It's not good. Brother, let's, we have a, a lecture. Let's go. We have this dars. Next month, we're going for umrah. They're encouraging you. So the sin is less and less and less, among other reasons. You have to look where the sin is coming from and cut it. Meaning, a lot of the youth complain from porn and masturbation. This is 90%. So what to do, Sheikh? Oh, I'm, I'm ashamed, Sheikh. I'm remorseful. I'm... Stop internet. <laughs> what about my social media, Sheikh? What about my Instagram? I have more than 50 sisters on the Instagram. You know, we just share da'wah and share hadith. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. <laughs> Look how shaitan is messing up with your head. <laughs> Everyone who complains of this addiction to porn, use Nokia. <laughs> no smartphone, no stupid phone, no computers. You have to use computer in the house. No problem. Put the screen to the wall, <laughs> not the opposite. <laughs> Every time you enter the house and you see your brother, even your father, even your mother, giving their back to the wall and doing this, they're doing something wrong. Do it, do it this way. No. <laughs> the minute I, even the sheikh, the minute I did this, is, he's covering, no, no, I'm just joking. <clears throat> so I think I'm too hard on the sheikh. <laughs> He has to buy me dinner tonight. You know? <laughs> so it is important that you cut the means by not having internet. You have to have internet, have the screen in the living room where everyone coming and passing will be behind you and they can see. You will never sin. Now when it comes to the beauty of prayer, how do we reach this? It cannot be reached by steroids. This is something you have to hit the gym. You want muscles? You have to hit the gym. And you don't hit the gym for three months and say, I don't have muscles. You have to go for five, six years, every day, and work out. The Salaf used to say, I struggled with prayer for 20 years. I'm trying 20 years every day, trying to reach khushur, trying to find the sweetness. After 20 years, I enjoyed it for another 20 years. Halas reached the peak. Now, 20 years, mashallah, I'm having fun. So it needs dedication. It needs practice. And as I said, the more you know about Allah's beautiful names and attributes, the more you love Allah. The more sweetness you'll find when you read the Quran, when you pray, when you make dhikr. When we make dhikr, subhanallah, 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 Alhamdulillah, for what? For everything that Allah has given me. So you can feel rather than just parroting it like parrots and Allah knows best.